Welcome back. Today's video has something quite special for you and your journey to a great life. But before we get started, can I please ask you how you enjoyed the first video? Could you be kind enough to take a minute to tell us about your thoughts below? It will really help us and as a result, so many other people too. Oh, and if you didn't like it, can you share that with us and also what you may have liked? That will help a lot of people who right now may find themselves in a place where they should not be. And that is where we want you to help with honest feedback so we get better to be better for them. So now back to today. Hi there, it's Robert back again. And now you're going to have the opportunity to experience just how we initiate the Great Life Program and bring it to your screen, desk and into your life. Normally, this would be a session or two, but we want you to have something that by itself can propel you towards greatness and then on the road to a great life of happiness. Now to get you started on this important section, I'd like to introduce you to Dave Sheldon and he'll be your guide through our blueprint and introduce you to our workbook. Dave is what I call a master coach and I have the greatest admiration for what Dave does and has done for so many people. I am privileged to have Dave as a friend and on the team. So Dave, take it over. I sure hope you enjoyed that first video and those questions that Robert asked you. Is this a great life for you? And if the answer is no, I hope that's why you're here because today I'm going to show you how you can start to have a great life and more. By the way, if you didn't get a chance to watch that first video, please go back there now and do that. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Lifetime of Happiness Blueprint and its companion workbook. But before we do that, if you haven't had a chance to download those, please click on the button below and do that now. Print them out so you have them in front of you as we go. Now that we have all that housekeeping stuff out of the way, let's get started. By the way, my name is Dave Sheldon, and I'm a certified professional coach and trainer. And I created the Great Life Blueprint to show you how you can begin building your own foundation for a lifetime of happiness beginning today. You're on a journey of learning and self-discovery, and that's what this blueprint is. Now, to get the most value from this blueprint, it's especially important for you to write down all of your responses and answers, and that's what the guidebook is for. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, that's old school, but the pen is mightier than the keyboard. Now, there's a lot of science behind it and everything else, but this is a process, a step-by-step -step process that we're going to show you that once you learn it and keep doing it, you'll have a blueprint for a lifetime of happiness. Let's take a look at your ebook together. First, we ask you, what is happiness for you? In fact, what is happiness? In a way, we're asking you, where do you want to go on this journey? Because this is going to be a roadmap for you. Because the next thing that we're going to talk about here is how do you find happiness? And here you see what the contents of the blueprint are. It's going to begin with your happiness survey, where you're going to have a chance to think a lot more about what happiness is for you, what it means to you, and why it's important in your life. Then we're going to talk about the law of balance. And we're going to start to learn how to use this natural force. And it's a fundamental force, just like the law of gravity. And just like gravity, it can be your friend or foe. Now, all this is going to set the stage for you to be introduced to the wheel of life. And this is a powerful and effective tool for change that you'll be able to use for life. In fact, you'll be creating your own wheel that you can start using right away. And then we'll put it all together in your next steps. And here we'll just briefly review where you've been and where you want to go next on your journey. But before we begin, I'm going to ask that you make some commitments to yourself. Because this is a process. 
And first, I'd like you to have an open mind when it comes to new ideas and new ways of thinking. Then I'm going to ask you to listen to your intuition, that gut feeling that really is one of your most important senses and can often be your best guide when you have the confidence to listen. And then I'm going to remind you again, just because it's so important, please, to use your guidebook. Because the, the process of writing out all your responses and answers is part of this transformation that you're going to be going through. And last, speaking of that transformation, I'm going to ask that you allow this process to unfold. Now, this is not a magic bullet and it's not some sort of overnight cure. Now, it does take uh, several days to go through this series of exercises, and you'll be learning more about that in just a minute. But each of these exercises asks you to think and respond, and it's vital that you, you know, sleep on it. Come back the next day and review what you wrote and see if now how you think about that, how you feel about that. And we're going to continue this natural process of change throughout the blueprint. So now, let's turn to your happiness survey. And right at the top of the page is a great quote from someone whose name you may have seen in many other places, Deepak Chopra. And he says, happiness is the ultimate goal. It is the goal of all other goals. The mistake we make is not going for happiness first. If we did, everything else would follow. And that's what this happiness survey is all about. First, we're going to ask you to rate your current level of satisfaction in each of the eight key areas of life that you see there on the page. Now, what we mean by your current level of satisfaction is how you really feel inside about where you're at in each of these areas. Next, you're going to select the three areas that are the most important to you right now that you'd like to, to change. And then select from that list the one area that's most important to you. Then I'm going to ask you an important question. What is one simple thing you can do each day to start to move your level of satisfaction up one number in that area. Now, please note the language here that makes this such an effective and powerful question. We're focusing on one simple thing and just moving your level of satisfaction up one number and just starting to move that level of satisfaction up one number and most importantly, picking an action step that cannot fail. And here in your ebook is a typical example of how this all works that shows you why it's so effective and how it just continues to work. Now, you might be asking, what is it that makes this all work? And it's called the Law of Balance, and that brings us to the second section of the blueprint. And let me ask you a question. How many times have you heard, it is better to give than to receive? Well, in this section, I'm going to go back and ask you once again to have an open mind, because we're going to talk about good and bad. Now, we're not talking about these terms in the, uh, in the social or moral sense. Uh, we're talking about the value judgments we make about ourselves and the things that happen in our lives where we think, oh boy, something good happened, or oh no, something bad happened. But then I'm going to ask you, wait a minute, hasn't there ever been a time when something that you thought was bad happened in your life that turned out to be good? And when you can allow for this possibility, it opens you up to be truly grateful for all of the things that happen in your life, even for those things that right now, for whatever reason you think are quote unquote bad, maybe it's going to turn out differently than I think it is right now. And that's the key 
to using the law of balance, gratitude. And that brings us to the wheel of life, the third part of your blueprint. Now, Robert told you quite a bit about the wheel of life in the first video, but I'd just like to remind you that it is a powerful and effective tool that you can start using today and for the rest of your life. It's also the heart of your blueprint because it will guide you, as you've already seen, into each of the areas of your life as they are important to you and you begin to make the changes that you want to make to find a lifetime of happiness. This section shows you how to complete the wheel. Then you'll use the same step-by-step -step process you learned in your happiness survey. Selecting one area of the wheel, asking yourself that important question, what is one small step I can take today that can't possibly fail to begin to move that number up? One small step can't possibly fail. Begin to move one number. There's detailed instructions that will show you how to continue doing this day by day and week by week. And that brings us to your next steps. But before we talk about that, let's talk about where we've been. We've been talking about the Lifetime of Happiness Blueprint. And this is the foundation of the step-by-step -step process that you've been learning. And of course, I also mentioned that your workbook is an invaluable companion for learning and insights, writing your responses down there, uh, and it's so much fun. You can doodle, you can draw arrows, there's, there's all kinds of things you can do with it, and really it also becomes a lifelong companion in your personal journal. We began the journey with the happiness survey, and this introduced you to the, the coaching process that we're talking about, and asked you to think about what happiness is for you. Then we talked about the law of balance, uh, that natural force like gravity, and you've learned how to start applying it. And then we saw the wheel of life and how that can be such a powerful and effective tool that will be the, the heart, your, the, the guide, uh, how you put your blueprint together for your journey in all the areas of life. So now it's time to ask, what's next? Well. My suggestion is you continue to do everything that you've learned and that you move on to the next video. Thanks, Dave. Please realize that you can do this powerful exercise in your timing and at your own pace. If you've finished it already, let us know what you thought or think about it, if we can make it better in any way, no matter what that may be. For example, what was revealed to you, what you'd like more clarification on, or it might be what features you'd like to see added. I think you can see why so many people appreciate this training and how it gets them started towards their great life. Actually, it's your great life. It works so well because at every step, you are in charge. We are just here as your backup or your wingman. In the next video, we'll answer what many have asked us already. What do I do next? See you soon.